what up everybody and welcome back to vince plays yes today we are continuing the farming simulator 19 uh sp more specifically washu washu nevada now i've done a little bit uh playing some off screen and just to kind of get a little bit here and there uh completed you can see that our money has went down drastically but i have farmed quite as you can see i've farmed quite a bit of crops i've been I most have been focusing on canola and soybeans there um and also a little bit of corn as well too but i mostly got those just so i can feed the animals for long periods of time but we haven't sold anything yet but today is a sell day and we are going to sell everything we have as you can see we have 15 boxes of chicken eggs so we're going to start packing these up and getting those into the truck and hopefully we can make some money. Ooh, a little glitchy. Uh, it's actually up here. Oh! No! I lost a box of eggs. I hope they're not broken. There we go. So we started over 3500 and we have a little over 10000 So we made almost $7,000 uh, selling chicken eggs. That's actually a pretty good little payday. I have some chores to do around the farm. I am gonna have to go ahead and top off all the food, the water, all that good stuff for the animals. <gasps> rocks, rocks! <laughs> Damn! Landed! <laughs> Landed it, oh yes. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just happy there's no vehicle damage in this game. Um, so we're going to do some chores around the house and around the animal pens, feed them, and then we will be getting all of our crops to sell. I'm going to put this one back into the uh, silo, save it for another feeding because we don't actually have enough to make it worthwhile driving to sell this. So we're just going to put this back in and I'm going to load up on canola and go sell the canola. Okay, so sell point for canola let's see we have twenty one thousand liters of canola it is going for one thousand dollars per thousand liters so we're gonna get dollar per liter we're gonna get about 21 maybe twenty two thousand dollars per for this one trip so let's just see uh we, we start off with fifty two hundred oh uh, look at that money just going up that's what i wanted to see Oh yeah, we made 22-1. That's not that bad of a payday at all. That really is not. Let's see what we can make for corn. So corn right now is selling for, we are at the livestock market here, 900 per thousand. We have 19,000. So, okay, not bad. I mean, we're gonna make, we're gonna make a decent amount. 27-4 we started off with. Let's see what we get. Oh, that money is rolling up there nicely. We made 17.6 for that. That was a good payday too. Um, not as much as canola though. On the way back, we do have some other chores to do as well for the animals. Um, the pigs are out of straw. So I did see a sell point right next to my farm let's see my farm is right here and right there is a you can buy a loose straw grass or hay so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this trailer up full of uh loose straw because i can actually i do have a barn to store the straw so i'm going to top off the pig pig's pen with straw and store the rest of it so i don't have to buy it again and on top of that our future plan for today is we have canola here growing. It should be ready to harvest by the end of today. And after that, I think I will go ahead and invest in a slurry spreader because we are getting quite a bit of slur quite a bit of slurry from the pigs and I want to be able to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to invest in a slurry spreader so we can use the slurry from the pigs as well as we can increase as we are we can increase our uh, crops output as well too where's the pipe in there it is there's the output okay 
So let's just top off here, see if we can, can actually use this trailer. Start feeling grass, straw, or hay. We want to do straw. Okay, it is harvest time. Time to make a little bit more money. And you can actually see the tire tracks right above us, right there, uh, from where I accidentally was drifting with the truck. <laughs> I, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw a worker on this one. Um, that way, so I can let him go ahead and harvest this field, as well as um, I can go ahead and run the other tractors as far as letting him unload into the trailer, getting the lime spreader and also getting the cedar ready, planting for our next crop. Anyway, um, so he's harvesting. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the vehicle with him. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this for y'all and I'll let y'all, uh, I'll catch up with y'all again here in a little bit whenever he is done and we are ready to line the field. So, our, har our field is harvested. We have limed it. We are now seeding with canola. And we are getting ready for our next steps. Uh, so, let's see how much barley we actually got out of that field. We had zero. So, now we harvested 15,000 liters, 15,500 liters of barley out of that one field. It was only half fertilized. It needed lime. So, it was... Um, I think that we, it was a fairly good one, seeing how many uh, downfalls we had for it. But now the next step is to get the uh, slurry spreader. Okay, we got our slurry spreader. We have our pigs and the slurry. We just got to fill it up. Yep, and slurry. Two and a half thousand liters. So we're going to see how far two and a half thousand liters can actually go for fertilizing. Yep. Two and a half thousand liters for a single pass. That means we will need mm, one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to need close to about 12,000 liters to do this field. Um, God, that's going to be. Yeah, we'll need two full slurry tanks here to do this field. Um, that's gonna be a lot of slurry. That that really is a lot. But I'm gonna go ahead and let him finish seeding over here. Uh, what was I gonna do? I'm gonna set everything up, put the harvester in place, and set up for tomorrow's harvest. It is a new day. Nice early sunrise, 9 a.m. Um, yeah, it's it's a struggling day. I haven't you had my coffee yet? But we have a lot of canola over there to harvest when it is ready to harvest, which will be probably not until late afternoon. Um, but we have some more chicken eggs, so we can go ahead and get these sold, make a little bit more money. 
get us one step closer to our uh, corn planter. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, get those pigs some more food. Oop, where'd that go? Okay. The canola is taking a lot longer than I expected to grow. It's already 7.45 at night and it's getting dark. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna go to bed and yeah, I'm gonna have to go to bed. I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and then I'm gonna harvest it. Uh, then we can do the test as far as seeing exactly how much yield having it fertilized with slurry really gives. Okay, it's sort of early in the morning, slept in a little bit later. It's 7.45 a.m. And it's time to harvest this. So the test is right here on right in front of us. I did one single strip of slurry fertilizer on it to because uh, first of all, that's all we had. But I want to see exactly how much of a harvest we can get with slurry versus without slurry. So the entire field is limed. It is plowed and it has one uh, one. Uh, coat of fertilizer from the cedar itself but this first strip here which i'm gonna go ahead and start doing this this first strip right here this has been had slurry added onto it so i'm gonna see what my yield is for the just doing single strip here then i'm going to the far side over there with no slurry and then i'm gonna see what the yield is from doing a single strip over there as well so Let's just see uh, exactly what it's going to look like. So we have 80%. So that only gave us 10% overall um, between the two swaths. So left line right here was with slurry, gave us 887 liters, where on the right side there was no slurry, gave us 803 liters. So we only had a 80 liter increase or 10%. Um, I didn't think it was going to be that little 10% yield. Um, the help book and all that says it increases your yield by 25% per application of fertilizer. So I don't understand exactly why it didn't go 25% and it's only 10%, but still 10% is a fairly decent amount. I mean, out of the entire field, I think we can get about 50 thousand liters out of the entire field and that would still give us you know an additional one and a half thousand liters or you know another grand uh, another thousand bucks so i think it'll be worth it over time not immediate but definitely over time so the chickens are really dirty so are the pigs the pigs are really dirty and i need to go clean them so while this guy is harvesting I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna jump in this one here. I do need, I do know I need to feed them as well too. So what I can do is I'll just go ahead, bring, let's see how much wheat we should be bringing. They need about a thousand liters. The pigs need about a thousand liters as well too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this guy off because what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cultivate this field first before we can plant the uh, corn. Yeah, it's always a challenge doing um, new crops that you're not fully prepared for. I mean, we had the header for corn and sunflower seeds, but we didn't have everything, anything else. So we had to have, we had at least out a planter, we had at least out a cultivator here. I mean, we have a subsoiler over there, but that, it, um, it would take forever, plus it's a lot smaller. But this way, with, um, that cultivator it can go a lot faster as well too yeah we have a little bit of farming left to do um we still have to cultivate this field we still have to seed it for the rest of the way here on top of that let's see where where the other guy is at right here okay other than that though i mean i think the chickens and the pigs are perfectly fine the way they are yeah they're good um, I could feed the pigs a little bit more corn, but I'm going to wait on that. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and plow this. I think that'll be it for today. In the next episode, it will be ready 
to uh, harvest the corn here and that way so we can start feeding our pigs um, because they are slowly running out of food I think that will be it for today I will be back later on um, I'll post another video here probably tomorrow and when I post the next video it should be time to uh, harvest this corn yep other than that though uh, I hope you all take well and uh, do, do not forget to like and subscribe. All right, well, thank you all so much.